Yeah, maybe. His name is Berger again? That's the Aussie Angus, right? Yeah, it's the Aussie Angus. Yeah, all Aussie Angus. Alright, what's up boys? It's D-Boys Food Reviews back here again. And today, we're going to be reviewing the Aussie Angus from McDonald's. And to set the scene, we're out here in the beautiful Aussie Creek in the middle of summer. It doesn't get more Australian than this. It's quite nice right now, actually. I must it say. is pretty nice. There's like a mattress over there. There's some homeless or mess here. We don't really know, but it's probably lurking around here somewhere. He's probably still our food. Yeah, he's probably like drawling over the thought of this Aussie Angus. And what's in this Aussie Angus, you might be asking? Well, let me give you a deconstruction. We have mayo, ketchup, bit of lettuce. You might see in the middle of there, there's a beetroot, a piece of beetroot. We got cheese. Um, I don't see any onion. We got your Aussie Angus patty and between all, in between all, surrounding all of that are the two buns. And I am led to believe that the tamale sauce is tomato relish. Tomato relish, actually. Never mind, not ketchup. So, we've got a little bit of an upgrade. And to accompany it, we got, you know, your chips as usual, and a Macca's special, the potato scallop. Okay. And actually, we thought you only got one from this. We got two potato scallops. Ooh. So, a special extra mini review for you guys after the burger. You know what? Probably before the burger. <laughs> What's up? Hey. We're about to take a bite of the, the potato cake. Here's the Going in. Chewy. Hmm. First impressions, it's a bit doughy. I am. Um, I think I prefer the uh, hash browns, honestly. Yeah, hash browns are better than this. I think. It's okay, it just kind of tastes like potato and batter. I think it needs some kind of sauce to go with it to yeah. be better. But... Barbecue, probably. Yeah. But in general, I'd probably just get a hash brown. They're a lot better than these. I would definitely rate it a 5 out of 10. You'd do a 5 out of 10? Yeah. I honestly do a 3 out of 10. Oh, shit. On its own. Yeah. It's just like really doughy, chewy, lamb potato. You've had it here first. That's Andrew's lowest review yet. Hmm. Fuck you, Maccas. <laughs> Alright, boys. Like Andrew said, we got the Aussie Angus. Let's open this bad boy up. Andrew gave me his. A dirty dog. You don't um, want my love pets? My hey, water. Wait. Here we go. No Aussie Angus. Now I gotta be I gotta be real with you, D boys. Me and Andrew, we're not too fond of uh of beetroot. But, you know, new year. New decisions in life. Reviewers gotta do what the reviewers gotta do. Let's uh, take a bite out of this boy. Let's go in. A little bit of mayo dripping out the end there from that bite. Mm. First bite, pretty good. That was very nice. It was very, very flavorful. And the tomato relish and the mayo kind of overpowers the rest of the stuff here. But I'll, I'll take another bite, see if that really is the the right way to put it. Mmm. Saucy. Very saucy. A very drippy burger, I must say. I have, my hands are already like soaked in sauce. This is a very messy burger, but like us Aussies, we are messy boys. Mm. Within the outback. Now that was actually very nice. I quite enjoyed that bite. Mm, very flavorful, juicy. The patty's kind of dry though. I feel like I got kind of old patty. Right here. 
Mm. And that's just me. I, can, I can't really taste much else besides the sauce, the beetroot, and the uh, and the sauce. But uh, it, it's still enjoyable. It still has good flavoring. I'm gonna take one more bite, and we'll go to Andrew. I'm quite impressed. I do enjoy this more than I enjoy the other Angus's, to be honest. I just wish I didn't get so much sauce in my hands. Alright, what's up boys? It's time for my side of the review. It looks like I've lost part of my burger. Wait a minute. It's decided to run away and stick to the, the side here. Actually looks like shit. <laughs> I'm gonna review the meat on its own in the beginning. Mm. It tastes alright, like Nick said, like he pointed out in his review. It's, uh, it is quite dry, the meat. Hopefully that's uh, held up a bit by the sauce. Um, let's give this thing a bite. Look at all that sauce. Mm, let me get the sauce at the end of this. Alright. I got fly. Aussie Angus going in. First bite of that. It's actually a really nice burger. I don't mind that at all. The uh, the sauce definitely, well, the sauce and the beetroot definitely hold up and uh, make up for the dryness of the patty. Um, everything in there, all the cheese, the veggies, the sauces, it all comes together very nicely. Makes a good taste. Um, like I said, before the patty tastes alright, but it's a bit dry. Um, I'll go for another bite. Hmm. Might not close your box over there. Um. As Nick pointed out. We're, both of us here at D-Boy's Food Reviews, we're not really overly fond of beetroot, but I really think this burger makes it work. I don't mind the flavour of it in there at all. I think it helps for the, uh... It helps to moisten up the burger and make it not so dry and adds, you know, its own little spin of flavour to it, which... I, I quite like the beetroot in there. It's not bad. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a final bite, and then me and Nick are going to go to our review. Get the saucy end again. Mm. Review time. Oh, Lee boys. Hey, what's up? It's review time. Let's begin letting Nick state his review of the burger. My review of the burger, were very juicy. The beetroot actually adds a lot to the burger, which I very much enjoy. The sauces are very, they have a lot of flavor to them. But however, I do notice that the lettuce and the cheese are a bit, very underwhelming, especially the meat. The meat is just kind of plain, dry, not really juicy, not very fresh at all. I feel like the meat was kind of left on the bench for like a few minutes. Mm. And it doesn't have all the juices you would expect. Yeah. An I'm, Angus patty. I'm quite disappointed about that, to be perfectly honest. But the flavors do save this burger a lot. I feel like if this was fresh, this was 100% a 9 out of 10. But right now, how I'm eating it, I gotta give it a. Uh, eight. Yeah, eight. we'll do it an 8. From, 8 from D Boy Nick. Right, my turn. Uh, I agree with a lot of Nick's points there. The uh, the burger as a whole package, I, I quite like. I think as a whole package, what I ate is probably like an 8 out of 10. Um, 
The problem is, when you go to buy an Angus burger, you're paying mostly for the Angus patty. You know, it's, it's a premium patty for, from a Macca's burger. You pay more for it, and you expect the patty to be pretty good. And unfortunately, with the burger, at least with the burger we had, the, uh, the patty was probably one of the least impressive parts of it. So, as I said, the whole package together is an 8 out of 10 for me. Um, I think the patty brings it down. It definitely would be a 9 if everything was the highest quality they could make it. But, yeah, for me, what I ate, 8 out of 10. Tastes good. Da, 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 do subscribe. <laughs>